So at this point, we decided to go pick up our car. Everything was in Spanish and that made it a bit hard, but we used Google Translate. We got lost, 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 lost. Thank you. Thankfully, a guy helped us and we finally found the place, which is a bus ride away from the terminal. So we got our car and started driving to the city. Oh, first hot tip of the day, the airport does not, not sell SIM cards, so had to turn roaming on. Shake that booty. <laughs> so then that night after we went to hire for skis, we found this beautiful restaurant that, oh my God, the food was so delicious. We had this beautiful uh, Peruvian ceviche and see that thing there on the left, it's camote, which was a sweet, cooked down sweet potato. Mmm, so good. And then we had this crispy prawn salad and this beautiful rice called mariscos ajos, which is seafood with rice. But the special twist is that they had cooked it in coconut, so it was so rich, so creamy. And it literally blew our mind. Good morning! We are in... Chile, 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 Chile. Santiago, Chile, and it is currently seven. So we're about to just pick up first board, and then we're gonna get a coffee now. We'll see you soon. Hello. So where are we going? Mountains in the background. This is the most stunning view as you're driving out of the city. And you're surrounded by these beautiful mountains. back in Australia but we are soldiering on make the most out of it <laughs> her and I were just talking about whether we're gonna survive <laughs> being on the mountain today given how tired it is what did the guy at the shop say to you I can't remember about those Aussies oh they had two, two Aussies this morning that was meant to be coming this morning, but he thought it was us. And then, and then what? I got lost in my history. He what did. do you want me to say? I don't know. I don't know the the context. Just like, the way that you tell me the story, you have to tell the story. This. Oh, those two dogs are cuddling. Oh, they cuddle into each other because it must be cold. Mm. Oh. That's so cute. He like walked over to him like, mm, like kind of, uh, that's very cute. I'm very tired. <laughs> but I'm feeling tired, like different tired. Like I feel like tired, like no air. That's jet lag. And we're also <laughs> 2,000 meters above sea level. <laughs> oh wow, look at that. So, hot tip number one. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's 
very sore, man. <laughs> it's gonna be more soft than snowboarding because you're gonna keep falling on your ass. <laughs> exactly, you're so fucked. <laughs> so, hot, hot travel tip number one. If you fly all the way across the world to your destination, and it takes you 24 hours to get there, uh, do not go snowboarding the next day. <laughs> you might need a sleep before you do an adventure activity like this, but we will see how we go. Hopefully, it'll all be worth it. <laughs> We are in Vale Nevado and it was an hour and a half from the city, drive up the mountain over very, very windy roads. But we got here, tickets are, uh, they were about $80, but it was 50% off today. Um, don't know why, if you use your MasterCard, it's 50% off. So that's the cheapest ski lift tickets I've ever bought, 40 bucks each. And the mountain, as you can tell behind me, is Empty! I'm by myself <laughs> for did not get through the boom gates in time and we got separated and I think he's just a bit too tired so I think he's kind of headed back down the mountain and I was gonna take him all the way up here up there I know that looks super high but there is a green run there but since I'm alone, I might as well go on the red run by myself because I'm dying for a shred. <laughs> Prefer, he's doing super well, but he's so tired. So we might just take it super chill today. Uh, you know, we've went down a handful of times already. Might have some lunch, maybe coax him to go a couple more times. Um, and if not, then we'll head back down and tomorrow we'll come back up again. We've got a whole week here, so we've got to kind of take it easy. But otherwise, what a great day. The snow here is great. The snow is, you know, it's not super icy. It's a Monday, so it's not that packed on the mountain as well. And um, yeah, overall, great day. And it's bluebird. Bluebird. Beautiful day. All right, I'm about to tackle this steep as that's pretty steep, but I think, I think I can do it. Empanadas in Santiago, apparently. 
So we are here, what even is? though we're in the ghetto. Yeah, you're taking the risk. We're in the ghetto right now. We're full in the ghetto. The peach. Durazno. Famoso jugo Durazno. The one's called Durazno? 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 Yes. Wow, it's hot. Nice and hot, though. Okay. This is the, I'm guessing, the beef empanadas. And this one is the cheese. Okay, you gotta take a bite first. First, taking a bite of the cheese. Muy bueno. Muy rico. One out of five? Ten. Ten. The cheese doesn't look stringy. Okay, my. It's like a salty sour cheese. Okay, so I'm gonna come. This is the pino. Oh my god, it's so big. Oh wow. Mm. A ton of like, like really meaty cooked down with onion. And it's just very, very savory. And the dough is like, Thin, hyper thin, but just enough to hold all that goodness.